Are you looking to mine Monero with XMRIG but not sure if it's worth it? Whether you're a beginner or an experienced miner, this video will break down everything you need to know from how XMRIG works to profitability, mining pools, and the risks of mining on a MacBook or phone. Let's get started. XMRIG is one of the most popular open-source mining software for mining Monero. It's designed to work with CPU mining which makes it different from Bitcoin mining, where you need specialized hardware called ASICs. Since Monero is a privacy-focused cryptocurrency, it uses the Randonx mining algorithm, which is specifically optimized for CPS. That means you can mine Monero on a regular computer, but that doesn't always mean it's profitable. When it comes to mining, you have to main options, solo mining or joining a mining pool. Solo mining means you work alone, trying to solve complex cryptographic puzzles to earn a full block reward. The problem? It could take months or even years to mine a single block. Unless you have an incredibly powerful setup, mining pools are a better choice for most people. These are groups of miners who combine their computing power and share rewards based on their contribution. Pools like Supportsmer and Munarushin allow you to mine Monero more efficiently and get paid more frequently. Mining Monero uses a system called Proof of Work. This is the same system that Bitcoin uses, where miners solve complex equations to validate transactions and secure the network. However, many cryptocurrencies, including Ethereum, have moved to proof of stake, which doesn't require mining at all. Instead of using computing power, proof of stake allows users to stake their coins to help validate transactions. Monero has chosen to stick with proof of work, but its Randomx algorithm prevents ASIC miners from dominating the network, making it fair for smaller miners. Now the big question, is mining Monero profitable in 2024? It depends on a few factors, your electricity costs, mining consumes power, and in areas with expensive electricity, it might not be worth it. Your hardware, a high-performance CPU like an AMD Ryzen 9, can mine more efficiently than an older laptop. Mining pool fees, some pools charge higher fees, cutting into your profits. The price of Monero, if Monero's value increases, your mining rewards become more valuable. For most people, CPU mining alone won't make you rich. But if you have low-cost electricity and a powerful processor, it can be a decent passive income stream. Technically, yes, you can mine Monero on an Android phone using apps like Termix. But you really shouldn't. Here's why, phones overheat easily. Mining damages your battery and can permanently slow down your device. Super low hash rate, a mobile phone might mine only a few cents worth of Monero per year. Most mining apps are scams, Google has banned most mining apps from the Play Store. And many apps out there just steal your data. So, unless you're just experimenting, mining on a phone is a waste of time. If you have a MacBook, you might be tempted to try mining Monero with XMRIG. But just like mobile mining, it's not a great idea. Here's why MacBooks have weak cooling, mining generates heat, and without proper cooling, your laptop could throttle performance or even get permanently damaged. Low CPU power, MacBook CPS are designed for battery efficiency, not for mining. Battery degradation, if you mine while on battery power, you'll kill your Mac's battery lifespan very quickly. If you want to mine on a Mac, you'd be better off using a Mac Mini or an external cooling setup. But even then, it's not very profitable. So, if mining on a phone or a MacBook isn't ideal, what's the best way to mine Monero? Here's what works best, use a high-performance CPU like a Ryzen 9 or Intel i9. Mine with a pool like Support Smur or Munarushin for consistent payouts. Use a dedicated desktop PC with good cooling. Optimize power settings to balance efficiency and profitability. If you really want to maximize your mining income, you could consider running a cheap VPS server or a low-power mining rig instead. So, should you mine Monero with XMRIG? If you have the right setup, it can be a great way to earn passive income. But if you're trying to mine on a phone or a MacBook, you're probably better off investing in Monero instead. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more crypto and tech guides. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about mining Monero or setting up XMRIG. Thanks for watching.